This is a look inside the Warhawks with Whitewater Warhawks head men's basketball coach Jared Wixer. A look inside the Warhawks is brought to you by American Family Insurance agent Kyle Danielson in Fort Atkinson and Burtness Chevrolet Buick GMC in Whitewater. A little bit of an up and down start to the WIAC season after winning the first couple against Oshkosh and Eau Claire at home, then had to go on the road against Stevens Point and Stout. Game against Stout last second buzzer beater that they got that had to be a bit of a heartbreaker and and how do you rebound the squad after a game like that there's no doubt that that was a tough loss we did a number of things down the stretch to allow them an opportunity to hang around some things broke their way but again that that falls back on us for for not putting them away and you certainly have to give stout credit for for not giving up for not going away the message to our guys on on monday was that you know the only way we we get this turned around and we will is if if we stay together and focus on moving forward and we focus on what we can control the two teams ahead of us are platteville and river falls and they're the two teams that we have this week you couldn't ask for a better opportunity to get things squared away as a coaching staff is that message that you're sending to this squad easier this year since they already actually kind of have that lived experience of having done that last year and been successful it's interesting because I think that is the perception, right? That that it should be easier, but really, Don, each team, each season has its own personality. While a lot of these guys have big game experience and they've played in tight games and they've won close games, this year's group needs to go through that. And I think we did go through that a little bit last week. We're still becoming more connected. We, we've added some new pieces this year. So there's still some things that, that we are ironing out with, with this year's team. Having the experience that we went through last year is certainly helpful. Really, it comes down to this year's team getting through those situations and, and coming out on top. I was just on a podcast earlier this week where the person asked me about this young Packers team. And, and I said, it takes different people, different amounts of time to figure things out and to pull it all together. One thing that I definitely took away from Coach Miller was that he always had a great perspective on how long the season was. And as a coach, more often than not, we want things done immediately, right? We want things fixed immediately. We want guys to to gel and become connected immediately. And he always had a great perspective of that's just not always how it works. It's interesting as you go through a season as a coach, you're working on the short term, right? Like we've been prepping for Platteville the last two days, but you're also working on some things in practice that are going to help your team long term where are we going to be in three or four weeks and that that's kind of the perspective that that we have it certainly does take everybody different amounts of time and, and like i said before it takes each team each season down different amounts of time as as well but i i think we're getting close our guys have been working hard as tough as last week was they came in monday and tuesday we had a couple great days of prep hopefully we see that payoff culture is like a good soup coach wixer you got to set the burner on low and you just got to have that patience and and under <laughs> and know that it's going to eventually get to that boil and give you give you a really good broth. That's exactly right. And again, we have some good people on this team that are going to make sure that we we become as connected as we need to be and they're going to keep guys positive. Like I said, there's no doubt in my mind that we will get there. It, it just becomes a matter of when and obviously I would like to get there sooner rather than later, but we'll see. Let's take a look ahead at your schedule coming up on Saturday. You're going to be at River Falls and then the next opportunity for folks to see this squad will be on Wednesday, next Wednesday Day, January 24th, 7 o'clock, UW Lacrosse. As you said, the league is tight. And you know, that that was part of the message we told our guys as well last week is, hey, every night in this league, you have to bring it, certainly on the road. You know, next Wednesday's matchup against Lacrosse will, will be a big one, as they all are. We take a lot of pride in defending our home court and playing well in Catchell Gymnasium. And Lacrosse has, has really improved the past few weeks. And, and Coach Gritz is doing a great job with that group. They missed look against Platteville. They were down by two and had a wide open look to, uh, to win that game and it's one of those shots that just didn't go down. They play well, and that's a big night because that's the first night, first home game after we welcome students back. So we've got a little special evening for students there where they can get a free t-shirt. So that's a great opportunity for students to come out and support the squad. That'll be a big game down for sure. Catch the stream from UW River Falls this Saturday, five o'clock start, and then catch them in person at the Catchell Gymnasium on January 24th against UW Lacrosse, 7 p.m. start. This has been a look inside the world. Warhawks with Whitewater Warhawks head men's basketball coach Jared Wixer. A look inside the Warhawks was brought to you by American Family Insurance agent Kyle Danielson in Fort Atkinson and Burtness Chevrolet Buick GMC in Whitewater right here on 104.5 WSLD.